Hey guys, what is up? Tigerstone here. I'm bringing you to some gameplay here on the mode. And as you can see in the title, I'm going to be doing a little documentary Charlie's and Alcatraz secure. here. Um, so We've most of you forward. might, most of you probably had the map pack, the DLC about um, on uh, Uprising. But this Securing must be long. This is gonna be a bit long, maybe a bit short. I don't know. Um, but just bear with me here and uh, stay with the whole video, please. Bravo Lockdowns. This is gonna get a little interesting. I know I looked up a lot of research. Don't, don't call me a noob or or uh, anything else like that. Because you know I just want to learn more about a map that I was playing that I really had no idea about. All I really knew is that um, is that I was playing out in prison and no one ever escaped it. That's all I really know, or that's all I really knew when I first played my uh, my couple of matches. So I just wanted to get into it a little bit. Um, and I was doing a lot of research, and um, a lot, and uh, historians and documentaries, and videos and documentaries, and um, I just I just spent a lot of time on this, at least maybe uh, two two days worthy, like way over the weekend. UAV um, So let's get into this. So first, um, as I was saying, they say no one has escaped. They say no one has escaped ever on Alcatraz. Uh, well, actually, uh, that is not true. Um, actually, two inmates have escaped the Alcatraz Island, and um, two inmates have escaped, and or not two, three inmates escaped. And how they did it was so. What they did was um. They're all playing this out, and they're all doing it in the cafeteria because in the beginning, um, the inmates would have like, ten minutes, you know, like get up and go to like the cafeteria and uh, just kind of talk to their friends, you know, or just kind of talk to to the other inmates, you know, maybe smoke a cigarette, and. And yeah, so, so these got the four these four um inmates. Um three the three of them that um actually escaped just got in there recently and then been there maybe a month and uh, just found this guy because he this other guy, this other inmate I forgot their names, sorry guys, but this this last inmate that is uh planned this out has um has planned this and he got everything detailed and this guy would um, sweep, he would sweep stuff like in this like little like kind of cell block thing, like not necessarily the roof, but I don't know, it's like hard to explain though, but it was like this kind of like, just like this, I don't even know, I don't even know how to explain it, but so he planned this out, he's got these guys, and so what they do is they would take some tools, and um, they would pick a big, because they had air vents leading to the pipes, where they would uh, where they like climb up and get to the roof on, and I'm pretty sure most of you who've played Mamba Dead uh, know when you go into uh, afterlife mode that you have to open the to open the showers if you like go through all those pipes. So that's what they climbed up on to escape. But here's how they did it: they um took these tools and they'd pick, they'd like keep picking it, and then they would take paint and cover it so when the um, guards walk by, um like get lights out. Um, which was 9:30, by the way. Uh, they would, so they wouldn't really notice because they painted it just like it. They got the air vent, like kind of glued on there. And, yeah, so after that, um, it took them seven months to pick this air vent out. And this um, air vent was five inches um, wide, five inches like tall, and. So they crawled through there, climbed all the way back um, up to the roof. Were very stealthy. They made rafts, but the leader went it out, could not get to it because his uh, pipe, or his air vent broke. So and like had technical difficulties. There was like a pipe in the way, and he couldn't really fix it. It was really hard, so he was basically screwed himself. But the other three who didn't, who didn't even plan it, 
managed to uh, escape it. So they escaped. They got the raft. And there's a lot of theories, but the, I'm gonna explain to the one that I believe. The one I believe is, um, because they found all their life jackets, but never found the raft. And so my theory is that they got, they went, got into a boat and uh, put the raft inside the boat and kind of took off from there. And I think they went to Brazil or South America. But there are, uh, there are other beliefs too. Um, but that's the one I mainly believe because they never found the raft ever after searching for over 15 years. But, uh, um, we've taken control. Continuing on. Alpha lockdown. Um, so yeah, they, um, a cellmate would, um, spend, um, up to three hours a day in a cell. Um, adding it all together, not in a row. And it all together. Um, I mean, they spent some pretty much time. They spent uh, most of the time, you know, like socializing, like in the cafeteria or eating time or uh, free time in the park. Now, in the park, um, they actually got to play sports in the park. Where in their free time, their favorite privilege of the day, they got to um, play baseball. They got to play cards and all these like fun games. And they only got that though for maybe two hours they only got that for two hours but that was their favorite privilege of the day and and also um inmates some inmates did have some pretty nice things to say about alcatraz overall and i'm going to read you what one of them said one of them said that uh he that he liked the food, like the food there the food was actually delicious um he also had said that that's um the cards treat you pretty nice. Uh, you know they're pretty nice to you overall, and the things that they disliked about it was it was cold. The cells were pretty cold, and um, if you're on a higher cell, then it would be pretty cold, or it'd be pretty warm, or it wouldn't be warm, but it'd be warmer than uh down on, down by a ground cell and securing Bravo. And um, Treyarch actually went there, most of you probably know that, but, and it was actually what, what they really imagined, I mean, that's exactly what it looks like from videos, from stories and documentaries, um, and that's a lot, um, there's some um, still out there, I'm actually going to be going on tour there in a while here, in um, June, so, you know, to get to know what it's like, Counter UAV inbound. and it's going to be a really fun experience. And uh, uh, Mom does a great man. And yeah, so Hold your and so some famous people that went there was um Al Capone. You guys Bravo. probably know him. He's a famous gangster, uh, famous mobster. Um, he went there actually, served his time there Lost until it closed. Um. Machine Gun Kelly, who else you might know, he's as well too. Um, went there as well, and Birdman. Uh, also, some of you may know as well too, went there. And so all these guys have been to Alcatraz, the famous prison. Death machine spinning up. The famous prison, the most like, deadliest prison as they say, where no one escaped, but three minutes have escaped. And yeah, so I hope you guys learned a little more about of the Alcatraz there, you know, you guys actually like know what you're doing, you know what you're playing there, and um, comment if you guys want me to uh, do any Mob of the Dead videos, uh, I'd be more than glad to, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty good, my highest round so far is on 30, um, it, that's pretty good, I'm actually definitely teaching my strategy, guys. I can teach you guys my strategies, to um, how I got to round 30, on that map, um, Mamba Dead is my favorite map of all time by far. Yeah, I really like it. It's really fun. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys joined this video. Remember subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave a like, and I will see you next time. Um, yeah. Uh, peace.